Performer Lite provides everything you need to record, edit, mix, process, and master your own music tracks quickly and easily. Plug in your mic, guitar, and MIDI keyboard to start tracking with over 100 instruments, dozens of effects plugins, guitar effects processing, and much more. To download Performer Lite, you'll first need to register your M-Series interface. For more information, please watch the How to Register video in this series. After you register, log into your Motu account. Go to Product Registrations. Click View Details on your M-Series registration. And click on Performer Lite. Click here to download the installer for Windows, and click here to download the installer for Mac. For this video, I'll be demonstrating using Mac OS, but the process is the same for both Mac and Windows. After the download completes, navigate to your Downloads folder and double-click it to launch the installer. Follow all instructions in the installer. Once it completes, launch Performer Lite from your Applications folder or Start menu. To activate Performer Lite, you'll need to be connected to the internet. Once on the activation page, click Activate Now. Log into your Motu.com account. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to create an account and register your product. After you log in, select the registration you'd like to activate. In this instance, we'll be activating our Performer Lite registration. Now, choose a nickname for the computer. For example, I can call this authorization Motu's MacBook Pro. Press Activate and Close. If this is your first time opening Performer Lite, a demo project should automatically open up. Before pressing play, let's make sure our M-Series interface is chosen as the audio driver. Click the Setup menu, Configure Audio System, Configure Hardware Driver, and select your M-Series interface. Then, press OK. On Windows, go to Setup menu, Configure Audio System, Configure Hardware Driver, and select ASIO. Then, choose Motu M Series as the ASIO driver. Press OK when you're done. Now, press play to hear the prearranged song in the demo project. You may also find information and instructions within the project notes section on the right to get you started. After you're done, close the project by going to File Menu, Close Performer Demo. It will now ask you if you'd like to save the project or not. You should now be looking at the Performer Lite Welcome window. In this window, you can check out a demo, open recent projects, open projects from different locations on your hard drive, or catch up on the latest news from Motu. For this video, I'll be creating a new empty project. Once this dialog box comes up, choose a name for your project and a location to save it. You should now be looking at your empty Performer Lite project. On the left, you'll find features like your track selector and channel strip, which can be toggled using these buttons. On the right, you'll find features like the content browser and set list window, which can be toggled using these buttons. In the middle of your screen, you'll find the conductor track and a pre-made master fader track. Now, let's record some audio. If you're recording a single microphone or guitar, for instance, you'll record to a mono audio track. To create a mono track, go to the project menu, add track, mono audio track. Plug in your mic or instrument. 
I'll be using a microphone on input one of my M-Series interface. Back in Performer Lite, find the newly created mono audio track and select in one as the input source. If you don't see your input, go to the new mono bundle section and find it at the top of the list. Record enable your track and press the master record button to begin recording. Check, check, one, two, check. Press stop to stop recording. If you want to play it back, bring the wiper to the beginning of the recording and press play. Check, check, one, two, check. If you're recording two channels at once, like a keyboard or synth, you may want to record on a stereo track. To create a stereo track, go to the project menu, add track, stereo audio track. Plug in your instrument to your interface and choose the correct input source in Performer Lite. Record enable the track and press the master record button to begin recording. If you want to play it back again, bring your wiper to the start of the recording and press play. To record MIDI and virtual instruments in Performer Lite, go to Project Menu, Add Track, Instrument with Options. In the top section, choose which Motu or third-party instrument you'd like to play. For this example, I'll be using Bassline and only one corresponding MIDI track. Then, press OK. You should now see your MIDI track and Bassline instrument track populate in the sequence. You should also see the instrument plugin window. In the top left-hand corner, I can choose from one of several instrument presets to get me started. To hear the instrument, Begin playing on your MIDI controller. Before recording, I may want to set a different tempo. First, click on the drop-down menu next to the BPM to change to tempo slider mode. Then, type in a different tempo. I may also want to hear a metronome click and count off. I can enable both of those up in my control panel here. To record the performance, make sure the MIDI track is record enabled and press the master record button. You've now created a MIDI clip. To edit notes and controller data, double click on the clip to launch the clip editor. The clip editor is your one-stop location for editing MIDI and audio clips. I can move and lengthen notes, or quantize, for example, by pressing Command-0 on my keyboard. After I choose my note value, I can press Apply and have all of my notes line up on the grid. Back in the timeline, I can also move and copy the clip, or edge edit the clip shorter or longer by hovering my mouse in the bottom left or right corner. I can also loop the clip in the timeline by hovering my mouse over the top left or right corner. Then just click and drag. You are now well on your way to mastering Performer Lite. Remember to check out all the helpful templates in the welcome window for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.